Hello guys, my name is DJ Kos and welcome back to the DJ Kos tutorial series. Today I want to show you how you can get your kick and bass like a pro. So let's get started. Right here we have two elements, a kick and a bass. The kick is from Kashmir. I'm not sure to you right now. And the bass is from a Vengeance sample pack. The track is in E and the samples are also in E. And yeah, now we have a problem with the lower frequencies. So I play together. Yeah, here you can hear that we have a problem with the lower frequencies. If the bass and the kick are using the same frequencies like in this example they are cancelling each other out so why is this because they are playing in the same frequency so in this case it's e now we want to figure out which frequency this is for figuring out the frequency we can use a free plugin called cheat you now we have to solo the kick And here you can see the frequency where the kick is playing. We can do this to the bass too. And here you can see that the bass, uh, that the frequency of the bass is 41 hertz too. You can also Google the frequencies of the notes online, but I think G-Tune is a very smooth way to do it. Um, yeah. And now you can see that the kick and the bass are playing around 41 Hz. And I have a compressor on the bass and I'll enable it right now. And it's already sidechained, so the difference is that. But I'll make another tutorial about different ways of sidechaining soon, so stay tuned about it. For now, the EQ is the most important plugin for us. So I enable it right now. This is ProQ from FabFilter, but you can use any plugin, any equalizer you want. So, but for me, ProQ is a very useful one. Now you have to make a decision if you want to have your kick in the frequency range where it hits your stomach and the bass playing subfrequencies or the other way around. Um, you cannot do both because the frequencies would canceling each other out, like I said before. But in most cases, um, the bass fits best in the subfrequencies and the kick is above the bass line. So it is right here. Um, in Broken, you can see a keyboard down there to figure out the frequencies which are important for our track. In our case, it's E, like I said before. And yeah, so the subfrequencies for the bass are around 41 Hz like you can see here, and you have to boost them. So I already did it with 3 dB, plus 3 dB. And now, if you want to kick above the bass, like I did it right here, you have to create space for the kick around 82 Hz, which is one octave up. So I need to cut the frequencies around 82 Hz. I've already did this, so I just have to enable it, but you can see it. I cut it off with 3 dB on 82 Hz and down here you can see it's one octave up E2 for the kick, E1 for the bass. So now I'll show it to you. Now I turn it off. So you can hear that the bass is boosted around 41 Hz and that there is more space in the um, kick frequency around 82 Hz. So, and for the kick, we're just copying the equalizer and we just paste it on the kick. And to get a perfect EQ settings for the kick, you just have to do it the other way around like before. So that means we 
don't want plus 3 dB, we want minus 3 dB for the subfrequencies. And we don't want minus 3 dB for the kick, we want plus 3 dB for the kick so that it hits your stomach and the kick is above the base. So I'll show it to you right now. And now I'll play it together. So if you did everything like this, it will sound more clean, open and you get more room for your subfrequencies and the kick will punch through your mix a lot better. So that's it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day and see you soon.